Hi, it's Melissa. Just wanted to share with you some of our top sellers right now with our Usborne books. So I'll start with one, two, three counting. This is a really great one for baby showers. It's a fold out book. So this is a good one for tummy time, also with the different black and white, but also it does introduce some colors. So good for those developing eyes. Animal Noises is illustrations by Stephen Cartwright, who does a number of our illustrations for our books. So some of those same characters that carry on through the various different books. One of my favorites is the fact that the cat's name is Whiskers, which was the name of my cat growing up. That's Not My Unicorn. So the 50th in our That's Not My series. This one's very popular. Everyone loves unicorns right now. Um, the edges of the book are rainbow, if you haven't seen that yet. Of course, it has the touchy-feely pages that are different. That's Not My Unicorn. This one's the ears. Um, the bright colors, sparkly a lot in this one. Um, so that one's a, a great one. Lift the flap, very first question and the answer is what is poop? So this is good if you're doing potty training, if you're going through that, that lots of questions phase that kids go through. Um, this one's a lot of fun. Our favorite page that we have here is where you get to um, flush the toilet, you follow it through the pipes, and you see that it ends up in the sewage tank. So this one's a really neat book. Then we've got B is for Bedtime and I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. These are more of our tough pages where they're not paper, but they're not board book pages, so they're pretty sturdy. Um, my kids mm -hmm. can be very hard on books, and these have held up very well. Both of these are ones that they have been reading, so it's from my personal collection. Um, this is a really sweet alphabet book that's good for bedtime. And I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. What's really neat, the illustrations are actually, they used real mud for the illustration, so it's a really neat one. Very top seller, all better. And then we've got Little Bear Needs Glasses. So these are really neat where it comes with these stickers that if the stick uh, goes away, you just wipe the backs down and they start sticking again. On each page, the animals have a boo-boo, have an injury. And all of them, you, you clean it, you kiss it, and put a bandage on it to make it all better. So definitely kids like playing with band-aids. Um, these are good band-aids to play with. Little Bear Needs Glasses, so all the different other animals that have glasses share with him. Um, and he tries on and finds his own glasses. The Shine a Light series, extremely popular. We have quite a few that are, are in our top sellers right now. So Secrets of the Earth, Secrets of Animal Camouflage on the construction site, Wonders of the USA. So a lot of good ones. Um, we've also got Secrets of the Seashore. So if you've never seen them, there are pages where you have um, kind of that hidden picture on the back. You can see here the tide pool where there's some different fish and sea starfish that are in there. If you turn it to the back, then you see then what was hidden on that back of it. So that's a lot of fun to do. Um, turn off the lights, sit in a closet, have a flashlight, uh, and get to look at those. Then we've got some different storybooks that are in our top sellers. Jonathan James and the What If Monster. So this is a really good one if any of your children have anxiety or are warriors. Get ready to start are nervous about something. This also, you can get a What If Monster plush um, to go with it as well. So they've got something to snuggle with while you're reading it. Nibbles the Book Monster and then Nibbles the Dinosaur Guide. So this is a newer one that just came out this summer. Nibbles was so popular. If you've never seen Nibbles, he is a little monster that likes to eat books. He goes through the stories and he chews through the different pages um, creates all sorts of mischief, and then it both, in both of the books, he does escape in the end. So they're both really cute, very popular. You can also get a plush nibble to go along with those books as well. The Tale of Two Beasts. So this is a really neat book that um, talks about things in different perspectives. So it talks about it from the little girl's perspective and then from the beast's perspective. So it really tells the story twice, where you go through the story and first you hear it from her side of things. And then it gets to the end and it goes through um, the beast side of things too. So it's really neat to get to teach kids that there are two sides to every story. Um, you know, she thought that he was this unhappy little beast that was in the forest. Um, and then he thought that she was just some terrible thing that came and kidnapped him and took him away. And in the end, how they um, also were able to, to have fun and play together. And then the last one I'm going to share today that is in our top bestsellers, 100 Paper Planes to Fold and Fly. There's a number of different ones um, in this series. So there are ones where you can have um, dragons to fold and fly. 
Uh, they've got beautiful colors and drawings. They do show you there's different types. So there's the dart, the bug, the jet, and the glider. So it shows you how to fold those different ones. So there's a few specific types of ones, but really neat art that's on the different types of planes that you can fold and fly. So um, lots of fun activities for your kid to have. Uh, with these paper plane books. So those are just a few of our top sellers. Um, obviously, there's many, many other books. That's only some that are on our top selling list. Um, and there is a lot of great books for you and your family to enjoy. Thanks.